Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and um, I am up today for UK Scrap Addicts and I'm kicking off this month's new theme which is mixed media. It's one of those themes that for me, I always, I've got all the things to do um, mixed media with, I've got all the texture paste, I've got all the inks, I've got all the paints, um, but I just don't like getting messy. So I thought I would do a mixed media layout um, that would coincide with my snappy scrapping series as well and this layout took 19 minutes um, which is super quick and um, I love the effect now this is a distress oxide ink in warm lipstick and all I'm doing is just smushing the ink from the outside edge of the page um, inwards I've done this technique a few times with um, a rainbow effect and that's quite cool as well um, and I thought I would uh, change it up a little bit just use a single color of ink on this one and that bigger section at the bottom is going to house my photo so there's a few things on this layout that um, I don't tend to do and that's mixed media um, the second thing I don't tend to do a lot of is using multiple photos so um, tackling that battle as well now I've changed my photographs to black and white um, it really helps with um stabilizing the colors on the page because in the cut in the photos there was oranges there were blacks there were blues and i just thought well um if i change them to black and white it's really going to help with uh managing the number of colors that are actually on this layout and help to blend the photographs in um and make them look like they fit so i'm just matting my photographs onto some white card and that's going to give me a white border around each of them. And that helps the photos to pop off of that uh, pink strip where they're going to sit on the bottom edge. <clears throat> I can see on here that I'd actually printed or cut one of the photographs slightly bigger than the other ones. But once they're all down, you don't actually notice. And if you're watching this on the UK Scrap Addicts channel, then welcome to this month's new theme. I hope you embrace it like the rest of the team are doing this month. Um, don't forget there is a blog post as well um, with all of the details on of this layout. And um, if you don't already follow us over on Instagram or on our Facebook group, then do be sure to go and head over to those also. There's plenty of inspiration coming this month from the team members. So I'm going to have my photographs um, overlapping each other slightly wonky. Um, and then I'm going to use some foam tape behind some of them to pop them up and others I'm going to stick flat. And that's going to help give me some dimension on the... Um, on the layout as well because it's all very flat especially when you've just used ink it's a it's a very flat layer so I'm just going to use I think this is the foam tape and this is a really thin foam tape and this is great where you don't want to have too much bulk um, in your albums which is something that I always am very concerned about and yeah just peeling that off now um if you are watching this on my um scrappy nerd uh chant scrappy nerd uk channel um then hi um this is the next video in the snappy scrapping uh snappy scrappy series and i hope you embrace this and give it a go if you are watching on my channel then um please would you go over to uk scrap addicts um i'll leave a link in the comments section down below and be sure to subscribe over there as well. We've got a, a lovely bunch of ladies that uh, from the UK that um, scrap every month to the same theme. And um, yeah, just finishing off this bit here now. Do, 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 do. I'm not too sure why I didn't cut this bit out. But all I wanted to do on the, um, the Snappy Scrappy is to not cut out too much of the process. And I didn't cut out any process in this. Um, so you see this from start to finish. All I've done is just sped it up um, to twice the speed. So this is the other thing that I don't tend to do, and that's mix collections. So I have um, thickers here from Amy Tan. These are from Hustle and Heart, I think. And I wanted this title that says Major Heart Eyes. 
and it's a little bit off-white um, but I don't worry myself too much about that I wasn't going to go with this because of how off-white it is but I thought it's the title that I want to use it will fit perfectly in that section up there that I've left the ink down for uh, to add my title and yeah so I'm going to make it work so yeah this title is Major Heart Eyes and these photographs are of my sister and I got my trusty Snapchat filter out and just snapped away some photographs of um, of her. She's um, she's disabled, so she doesn't get to do any of this and she doesn't quite understand or she doesn't understand what I'm doing. But um, it's quite fun being able to use the um, the filter for photographs for her as well. And I was a bit wonky. There we are. So my title is now down. And I like the fact that it's two different fonts as well. And I'm going to add in some of these foam hearts as well. So I'm just going to move some of that um, down to the bottom, the, the foam element down the bottom to give some extra texture down there as well. So yeah, I've mixed quite a few collections here. So I've obviously just used, um, I've used no pattern paper on this. Um, all I've used is the ink and the white cardstock. Um, these are from, I want to say La La Love. Um, I think so I'm just using this little uh, sentiment here and then I need another pop of red because it's going to be the only red on the layout so I've got a little heart that's going to be going up the top as well a little red heart and um, they're a bit of a mare to peel off the backing I'm not too sure why but um, I mess around with trying to get that off um, and then I also used um, some 3d embellishments from flourish as well which is um, yeah crazy for me because I don't like I said I don't normally mix collections I normally stick to a collection but um, where I've ended up with random packs of things I decided to pull them all together and make a layout with them so there's the red heart and I also added in some of the silver hearts as well because um, there's a silver border around that um, piece that says you are so sweet so these are the um, 3d embellishments from flourish and these are the butterflies so I'll pop these on um, and again, the, it helps with the, with the dimension because the wings are sticking up. But then I noticed that the um, there was a, obviously that pop of yellow. Apologies if you can hear someone cutting their grass. Um, there's a pop of yellow on the butterfly. So I needed to bring in some yellow to this as well. So it's a bit of a odd um, color tones because we've got the pink, um, the red and the yellow. That's not three colors that I generally go with, but I think it really works and comes together really well. So here is another collection um, or another element from a different collection. These are Pink Fresh Studio um, Puffy Stars and I love these and yellow is not my colour. So this was a perfect opportunity to be able to get some of those used up on here as well. Just moving that yellow down into the bottom section of the page. And um, I think that's it apart from um, I decide that it's not got enough mixed media on. Um, so I can't get away with just doing the ink smush. Um, across the page I'm going to add in some ink splatters as well and this one is black um, and it's a Heidi Swap colour shine and um, giving it a good old shake she needs to get that pigment moving and I've covered up my title because I don't want all of that going over my um, my foam because it will just sink in and stain it and then um, I'm going to add some splatters in a diagonal fashion so it's going to make its way from that top left down to the bottom right corner and I'm going to cover my photos as well because I don't want to get ink over those and then if you're never happy with the splatters you can always just use the end of the spritzin bottle um, to add in some extra uh, ones like this so just add the ink to the end and pop it on your paper swirl it around if you want a bit of a bigger blot and this is this is done so thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this has brought you some inspiration. Please give it a go. And if you do and upload it onto Instagram, then be sure to tag UK Scrap Addicts and myself over there as well. Um, if you've liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you're new and haven't done so, then we'd love you to subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye.